where actually he did a 100 meter free immersion dive yes. just the other day. So that's a very shallow depth. For well, me. the reason is he is going to be doing it no fins. He is going to be doing this dive as a practice dive uh, for his no fins, which he wants to focus on in the next couple of days. So according to the rules, if you want to compete with no fins in a with fin competition, you may, but the recorded result will go down in the category with fin, even mm -hmm. if you have no fin on. So, but because no fins is more difficult than with fins, it is allowed to do that. Yeah. Okay. So basically he's just the training because yes. uh, he has been focusing a lot on uh, no fins uh, discipline and his uh, national record has just been taken by his friend yes, uh, <laughs> Stefan Rundig. They are battling each other back and forth, handing yeah. each other the records. And, and our good friends doing that and he literally did a week ago yeah. uh, about a week ago did a 70 meter no fence dive so tim is just checking his depth here getting ready for the men's start yeah. and uh, the no fence discipline on saturday that's correct mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and we have a i think dean shouse uh he was going to do the same thing i'm not sure if he decided to or not i don't see him on the list but he had asked me if he could do a no fins dive as well, I think he decided not to. He's just maybe he doesn't want to get too tired. No fins um, is considered the most difficult discipline because it it requires the most energy because you have to use all your own power. You have to swim down, get into your free fall, and then swim all the way back up. And both of these two lovely ladies here, they're specialists in no fins. So oh, uh, I definitely am not. Uh, I, don't think I'm <laughs> I just do it anyway. <laughs> I, I do like no fins a lot, where you feel you're in full contact with the water and you're not mm -hmm. using any rope or fin as assistance. You can mm -hmm. feel the water flow on your hands and on the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's nice. But they, they will both be competing in that in the next ladies event, so you can look forward to seeing them. It's a discipline that really favors the people who have been uh, competitive swimmers yeah. in their background mm -hmm. because it's very much about technique, mm -hmm. every little bit of energy that you can uh, save by, by basically having good technique and mm -hmm. moving yourself yeah. efficiently through the water makes a huge difference in this, this discipline. Mm -hmm. And that's where I, for example, totally fail because I never really uh, <laughs> learned to swim very well. So I have zero technique. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so I just do it anyway. <laughs> yes, I but, like uh, it. Definitely not yeah. in the most beautiful way. <laughs> I, st I started as a no fins only uh, diver. I didn't own a fin and just started with no fins because I was a swimmer and um, I guess I did have an advantage in that we have already learned how to control the water through small body movements. In fact, and Carla position. here next to us, sorry to interrupt you, um, was actually a world record holder <laughs> yes. in breaststroke. Yeah, so yeah. perfect. No, butterfly. And butterfly, butterfly, there you go. I was perfect not perfect for freediving. My, uh, breaststroke is my worst stroke, by the way. But yeah. Butterfly is still, though, very yeah, good for freediving. Yeah, I was a butterfly. Yeah, so actually, when I did put a fin on, it was very easy for me because I was used to that kick. So no. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And the feel well, of the water. Tim is about to start his yeah. dive. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how Tim does today. Tim is very young. He's one of our younger uh, participants. He's in his uh, mid twenties, and uh, which for our sport is young. It's um, this is a sport that you're not so limited by your age, and uh, so it's really nice for us to be able to still. We don't. It, unlike swimming or, or track or something, the average is not 16 years old. It's, it's a little more like the uh, long distance disciplines, yeah. like say marathon, mm -hmm. the triathlons, yeah. and they are very very require a lot of mental strength, mm -hmm. mind strength, um, knowing yourself really well, and so it's a little bit similar to that. And here goes Tim. You can see, first off, the most obvious thing is the difference in the speed. So, since we've been watching these monofin dives, now you're seeing the no fence discipline, and this is a good example of what this is. It is like a uh, modified breaststroke stroke, uh, for swimmers, it would be the stroke that we call the underwater, the one we use when we come off the wall. Um, and uh, Tim has now entered into his free fall. Yeah, and he's going at around half a meter per second um, on average, a little bit faster now, which is actually not very fast. But that is also reflected by the fact that you don't go into the free fall with as much speed as yes. you do in the other disciplines. So that that carries on that carries through mm -hmm. the whole dive but it results oh, in longer dive. Tim's going to do an early turn. He's decided that's enough for him today. He's coming back up. Yes, it is quite it is quite a bit slower. William Truebridge, the world record holder in the no fence, uh, 102 uh, record that he did last year. The dive time was 4.13, I believe. 
So that just shows you on a 100 meter dive it takes over four minutes. So um, it, it does require a lot of energy conservation and you have to have a really good technique in order not to work so hard. That was always a problem for me. I have never been able to relax. I swim the whole way. I, you know, For me, I'm still a swimmer. I, I swim from point one to point two and back and it's not, it's not good for this. That's so here's, here's the safety diver and actually it's interesting because the safety divers, the deep safety diver meets us in around 30 meters and uh, when we women, uh, for example, when I go to <laughs> Nolfins, since I'm in around uh, the mid-50s range, actually it's very nice to see the safety diver and yeah. you're all happy but then you realize that you haven't even made it halfway yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a very long way to go. And here he is. Sometimes the diver, when they're doing a training dive like this, even though it is in competition, they will maybe not bother to do the protocol or not really care because they don't care that this result is recorded. So if you if you if you see them maybe not uh, do a, a protocol, it's only because they they're only doing this for training. Yeah. Yeah. That's a yellow card early turn for Tim on that dive. So we're gonna jump now to some deeper divers right we're getting yes. close to the main depth part of the of the men mm -hmm. and you might have